In this section, we are going to talk about more advanced use cases of NSE. While in the previous section we focused on auditing databases, mail servers and checking for SSL vulnerabilities, in this one we are going to use NSE to assess SMB services. The server message block protocol is very commonly found in uh, intranets and knowing how to find common weaknesses, exploit it and then secure it is something that every system administrator and information security professional should know. We are also going to analyze NSE script execution along the way. In this video we are going to take a look at how to brute force SMB services and then enumerate shares and users on the tested system. For the brute forcing attack we will be using another Nmap tool. We are going to use NCRAC, a dedicated network authentication cracking tool that I wrote back in 2009 and 2010 during the Google Summer of Code program under the mentorship of Fyodor, the original author of Nmop. We can execute NCRAC without a root shell since it doesn't use any raw socket or packet crafting but rather sits on top of TCP using Nmop's NSOC library underneath. The command line invocation is pretty intuitive. We are specifying the SMB protocol and the IP address of the target. Then because we only want to test the administrator username, we specify that with a minus minus user option. And finally we use our own password list with a minus P switch. We also included the debugging option level for NCRAC to print the credentials it tries as it goes. Keep in mind that brute forcing SMB services might lead to account lockouts if such policy is in place. In the end, NCRAC managed to find the correct password for the administrator account. We will be using that for our next NSC scans. Let's first add a useful bus function in our bus RC so that we can easily search for NSC scripts. And we need to source the bus RC and from now on we can type NSC and then the name pattern of the scripts we want to search for inside the NSC database. Let's type an NSC SMB to see what we get. We can see we have quite a few NSC scripts related to the SMB protocol. Let's start by enumerating the shares on the remote system by running the SMB enum shares script. Before we run the SMB enum shares script, we should at this point mention that there is a useful nmap switch minus minus script help that will uh, output a description of the specified script. And you can also use the wildcard operator to list the help of all SMB scripts. We will first run the SMB enum shares without providing the credentials to see what we get even when we have no previous knowledge of a user's password. We also output the nmap scan to a file so that we can have an easy reference later. You can see that while Nmap could indeed enumerate the shares, it could not get all the details. Let's now try rerunning the same script with the credentials we previously found with NCRAC. This time the output is much more detailed. We even have the file system paths. And the permissions of the current user for its share. Open shares are particularly useful to a penetration tester because there might be private files shared or if it's writable it could be exploited as a place to drop a backdoor 
or infect a file existing there. We are going to see how we can do that in the upcoming videos. Let's now enumerate the users of the system by using the SMB enum users script. We will need to use the administrator credentials for the script to work. User enumeration is very important for uh, penetration testers since they can potentially pivot to other services using them. Since we are using administrator credentials, we expect to be able to list all the uh, available users on the system and indeed nmap found four different users for which we can also see additional information such as if there is a password expiration policy. The SMB enum users script uses two ways to perform the enumeration. The first is using the security account manager remote protocol which requires a valid account aside from guest. We run Nmap using the SMR only script option so that only that SMR enumeration is used because that is stealthier. Uh, the other way that users can be enumerated through SMB is by using local security authority brute forcing. It works by trying to guess the relative identifier that uniquely identifies a Windows user. And it's much more noisier, but requires guest account for Windows above 2000 and no account for Windows 2000. In this video, we learned how to use NSC to discover SMB shares and enumerate users. And with the help of NCRAC, we performed SMB brute forcing.